Today I bring you my first impressions on the Apple Arcade game Ultimate Rivals The Rink for iPhone, iPad, Mac and Apple TV plus iPod Touch. The game is a casual sports title made by BitFry Game Studios and it weights around 2.4 gigabytes on the mobile devices and honestly about the same on the Mac. Uh, it has an age rating of 4 plus years old and it allows for 1 versus 1 with a computer or real human composed of uh, each team. Uh, so it's two teams composed of three members each and it's either a human controlling one team and a computer the other or two humans one on each team. So there's no like, you know, two, three players on one team and so on and so forth. Uh, the game is a hockey arcade game with a wide cast of characters to unlock and use, each with different trades and abilities, which if you wish to use online, of course, you have to agree using the Game Center platform, which I find it odd how the game just, it, I don't know if I haven't played many of the Apple Arcade online uh, capable games where, you know, versus other opponents. Or, so maybe it's, it is Apple's way of um, forcing the developers to make it so obvious that you will use Game Center and you will be, I don't know, tracked in a small sense. But it's such a minimum of uh, bare bones way that honestly I just wish the game didn't make it sound so sketchy because it really isn't that risky what they're doing. But anyway, uh, it, it might just be a developing policy that they have to do it this way from Apple. The game runs smoothly on all the devices that I tested it on and on the first uh, it was the iPhone and the controls were a little bit weird but after 10 or so minutes of playing I was able to grasp them enough that I got to owning the computer player which for some reason on the iPad it was more aggressive, better performing, it's just all overall better opponent. It actually did some pretty smart plays uh, compared to the iPhone which felt really dumb. Um, on the iPad, by the way, it felt most at home. When playing the game, since I was able to see better and even though on the iPhone it was playable and fun, I was surprised by how much more comfortable I felt playing it on the iPad. I personally think that it is a game that it's a bit too simple as to no voice acting, no story, but for a quick bathroom break game for a short session, uh, worth of simple fun, uh, yet it is challenging though, so I think as that piece of entertainment, uh, if you go at it on that mindset, I think the game is a good, and if you end up liking it, there seems to be a ton of content to unlock as to characters. My main issue with the game was that the online didn't work on the iPhone or iPad or even the Mac. Uh, I wasn't able to find a single versus one versus one game, and I'm more of a competitive player, so to me, not having the online portion of the game working is a big downer, and I hope that it does work for most people and I was just going through some server issue on my end uh, but let me know in the comment section below or in my social media channels all in the description under and war07 if the online aspect of the game is good or if it even works for you please share it and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like button plus the bell activated so you get a notification whenever I release a new video pretty much every day of the week but specifically if you're interested in Apple Arcade first impressions or reviews. To wrap things up I just want to say that this is a simple fun game that I cannot ignore a feeling of incompleteness and maybe even abandonment from the developers. I don't know if it's due to lack of popularity or what but it's been like four months since its last update and I don't think it's a bad game. Uh, but if it were a non-Apple Arcade with microtransactions and this was the totality of content, I will feel much more disappointed. But like it is right now, it is a simple fun game that I wish it just had more to it because, and especially the online part should work, but because it feels like it has the foundation of being a legit game. Um, if you wish for me to make a review, let me know and till next time I hope to see you on my twitch channel every day of the week at 2 p.m Mountain Standard Time except Tuesdays because that's when I work on Xbox Game Patch challenges for the week or the month for points to get free stuff on micro from Microsoft like free Xbox Live Gold or gift cards to Domino's Vamanos. Anyway, I'm in World 7 and I'm Oscar Miking out of here.